What's up everyone, Tayton here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 5 controller will not connect to your PlayStation 5. Let's get right into this. So the first thing that I want to mention is these are a lot of quick fixes that you can do for yourself. They will work for a lot of people as you will see in the comments, but they might not work for everybody. But just because it didn't work for you doesn't mean it didn't work for others. So the first thing to try is to connect the controller to the PlayStation 5 using the USB cable and pressing the power button to see if you are able to use the controller that way. Now if the controller doesn't work, now try using a different USB cable and see if you can get the controller to work at least whenever it is plugged in. Now if the controller does work while it is plugged in, check to make sure the controller is fully charged. If you notice it is a low charge, try charging it for a little bit and then trying to use it wirelessly to see if it does work now. If that didn't work, turn off your PlayStation 5. Now try connecting your controller to the PlayStation 5 with the USB cable and press and hold the PlayStation button on your controller to turn on the console. Once the console is turned on, your controller should resync with the PlayStation 5 and should now work both while it's connected and also wirelessly. And the last thing to try if nothing else has worked is to reset the controller. On the back of the controller, just like the PlayStation 4 controller and other controllers I've talked about in the past, there is a little reset button. Now you will need either a paper clip or a small pin to access this button to put in that small hole. And the last thing that you can try is to reset the PlayStation 5. Just like with the PlayStation 4, there is a reset hole and a reset button on the back of the PlayStation 5 controller. Now to do this, you're gonna need a paper clip, a small pin, or a toothpick, something small enough to get into that hole, and you're going to press and hold the button in that hole for a couple seconds, then release. Now you're gonna press the power button on your PlayStation 5 to turn on the console, and you're gonna connect the controller to the PlayStation 5 with a USB cable, and that should resync the controller. Now if none of that works, there might be a bigger issue with your PlayStation 5 controller. The first thing you can check to see if there's any damage inside the ports for the charging ports of the PlayStation 5. The other thing you can try is to use a different PlayStation 5 controller if you do have one. Now with my experience back with the PlayStation 4 and now with the PlayStation 5, it is recommended to purchase your controllers at GameStop and always purchase the one year warranty with your controller. That means if anything were to happen in that one year, then you can go and exchange it for a brand new controller. Now keep in mind, you can also take advantage of this warranty and before your warranty runs out, go and get a new controller and you'll always have a fresh controller. Regardless of if you had an issue or not, I always recommend before your warranty runs out, going and exchanging it and getting a brand new controller. That's something that GameStop employees actually let you know and they tell you that you can do because they cannot test the controller at GameStop they literally have to take your word for it, and if it's under warranty, you get a new controller. Hopefully this has worked for you. If not, and you do need to get a new controller, make sure that you do buy the warranty at GameStop because it definitely is going to help, but hopefully one of the easy fixes did work for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.